This is part two of my Elsa Sum Sum video. If you want to see part one, just click on the link provided in this video or go to my channel, Louise at Home. So now that I finished cutting off excess hair, what I'll be doing is making a braid. So I have three pieces of yellow polymer clay that are shaped like logs and they're the same size. I'll place one on top of the other, like this, until it looks kind of like the back of an easel, like this. And then you just place it flat on your mat and make a braid. The last thing I'll do with Elsa's braid is just flatten it a little bit with my pin. Not completely flat, but just so it starts joining together. And then I'll take my finger on the bottom of it and just squeeze it together so it has like a little tip like this. Then I'll attach it to Elsa's head. So I'll lift up this piece of hair here and I'll put it where I want it to go. Press the hair back down again. And then I'll twist this the way that I want it to point. So I want this to kind of point sideways now in her Sum Sum, Elsa's eyebrows are very thin and very high above her eye. So I'm using a tiny piece of brown polymer clay for her eyebrow. I'm using my finger to just press it high above her eye. First I'll put it straight and then I'll use my toothpick to shape it to the way I want it to be. So I'll pull down this side of it and then I'll take the edge of this one and push it to where I want it to go. If, it's, if I like it like that, then I'll press down gently with my toothpick just so that it sticks there. Now I'm going to attach Elsa's ears. For that I have two round pieces of flesh colored polymer clay. What I'll do is I'll put it on the side of her head with this round piece, the circle pointed downwards. Like this. And then I'll take my toothpick, press on the back of it, like this. And once it's pressed down a little bit, I'll take my toothpick and fold the front of this forwards until it looks like a little ear, like this. Now for this little piece of hair that Elsa has in the front, I'll be using a piece of yellow polymer clay that I have shaped like a log. I'll take the front of it and squeeze it with my finger until it has a little point to it. And then I'll flatten it on my mat. And I have this covered with wax paper just so nothing sticks. And then I'll lift this up. And what I'll do is I'll put it on her hair upside down. So first I'll put it where I want it to go on the rest of her hair. I'll take my toothpick and I'll use that to attach it to the rest of the hair. Once it's attached, I'll take my lollipop stick and I'll just curve it over that. Once I've curved it a little bit, I can hang it over like that so that it hangs over her eyebrow. Elsa's almost ready for baking. The last thing I'll do since she's a Sum Sum is add her feet. So I have two little pieces of flesh colored polymer clay. And what I'll do is just, I just roll them like a log and I'll just place it on the bottom like this and one on the other side. Like this. And for the back, I have two pieces of blue, the same color as her dress. Again, shaped like logs, one on either side, one here and one on this side. And then I'll press around my mat a little bit just so they stick on. And the last thing I'll do before I bake her is just press down my little snowflake button into the shapes I made previously, just in case I damage them a little bit with my fingers. So I'm just pressing it back in there and then pulling it back out so that the snowflake has its shape again. I'll do the same thing on this side and then I'll pop her in the oven and bake her. Now my Elsa's baked and cooled, so she's nice and hard, and I glazed her with this Sculpey glaze just to give her a nice shine, so she's nice and shiny. Now what I'm gonna do with her is I'm gonna use some of this tool, and this is just like this thin material that I found from the hobby store, and I've cut it into this small piece I measured around her to make sure I have the right size, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach this to her so that it looks like her dress. What I'm gonna use for this is some hot glue. I'm going to squeeze a little bit of glue on this side, just like this, a little dot of glue, and then I'm going to quickly take and stick her dress down there and attach it to the glue before it hardens, because it hardens pretty fast. Just stuck it down there, like that, and I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the other side and then stick that side down too. Get my little glue gun, put a little bit of glue on this side, 
just the dot and then wrap the dress around and then just stick it right down on the hot glue and her dress is on. I'm going to add a little something extra to the dress just to make it extra special. To give Elsa some extra shine I'll be adding a strip of these self-adhesive acrylic gems and I have it cut out here and all I'll do is just peel the backing off like this and then what I'll do is I'll just wrap it around her. So I'll press it down in the back like this and then just wrap it around either side just to give her an extra sparkle. Just wrap it around on this side and then just like that she has this beautiful little dress on. The last thing I'll do will be adding her snowflake. For the snowflake on her hair I'll be using these tiny little snowflake buttons, the same one I used to make the snowflake shape on her dress. And what I did was I cut off the back of this, since it is a button, I used my wire cutters and I just clipped each side off, like this. Cut it, just cut it right off and then it's flat at the back. Then I'll use a little bit of my hot glue, just put a little dot on the end of her hair, and then I can attach my snowflake. Just press this right on top and let it sit there. And there you go, now she has her beautiful little snowflake button. My Elsa is ready. Thank you for watching my video, and don't forget to subscribe, like, and post in the comments. Happy holidays to everyone. Thanks for watching.